Hello everyone and welcome to a rather um, sudden start to Lawrence Plays Manhunt uh, Checkpoint. Um, and also, as usual, Lawrence always drives a blimmin' oracle. <laughs> so I was just coming out to the hills there trying to find a suitable car to switch into. Um, and as I jumped into this one, Pete suddenly appeared. Now he's not behind me and I don't think I made it that difficult to, to follow me. So I'm suspecting he might have thought, well it's so early on in the game, let's just let him go. We'll smash up his car a little bit so he can't lose it. That? That's a sports car. Um, and then let him go. So maybe they're being nice to me. Maybe. Um, so now I need to, I need to find a different car, um, and it needs some. Oh come on! Why is there nothing? Um, okay, let's let's sort of calm down a little bit now. So what we're trying, what are we trying to do? Well, we are out here. We are trying to take all of the checkpoints around the city. That's a sports car. I can't have it. Um, and the the hunters are trying to stop me. So I will try and sneak up to it. Ooh, is that an F620, it is. Let's let's try an F620. I've not used one of these for a long time. They're quite good, so I suspect the hunters might just attack them on sight out of general principle, but I'm, I'm going to try it and see how it goes. So, peer entrance. What's the best way to take that? Probably in a fairly unsubtle way, just driving up to straight through it, I suspect. It's not one of the really obvious pedestrian -y area ones. Um, so it's not somewhere I'm going to approach in a yeah, on on foot. Um, there aren't really there aren't a huge number of ways to approach it. I think just just approaching it on on the road in a reasonably calm and sensible way is probably the best way to take it. So we'll see how that goes. What are these cars? Are they the are they the, the blister turbos, the ones that turn out turns out are actually sports cars? I think they might be. I can't really tell from here. Maybe they're normal blisters. Anyway, I'm happy with my F620. I'm going to keep this because it's because it's actually quite good. There's Pete again. So today we're playing with the circle in um, in teleport mode. And the way that works is that there is a circle on the map that the hunters use to find me because they know that I'm always somewhere inside that circle. However, this, in this mode, the circle is stationary on the map. It just sits there, completely, mo completely motionless. Um, how, but when I get to the edge of the circle, which one is that button? Uh, when I get to the edge of the circle, it will teleport to, to, so to put me randomly somewhere in the circle. So the idea is this, the hunters get the impression, if they're, if they're suspicious of a car and following it, when it gets to the edge of the circle, if the circle suddenly moves, then they can be fairly sure they've got the right car. However, on the flip side, if I sit around fairly innocently, like, there's a green light. Um, if I sit around fairly, mo fairly stationary, then they don't know where I am at all because the circle isn't, because if the circle isn't moving, they don't get any extra information. And Mark is clearly very suspicious of this car, so I kind of want to get out of here. Um, where is he? There he is. Ideally, I don't want him to see my character model, because the hunters have been catching me a lot recently by by identifying and spotting my character model. Don't, he's going to start shooting at me because he's got out of his car. Right. Um, so yeah, I don't want I don't want them to see me and recognise me because if they rec if they spot my character if they get a f feel for what my character looks like then they can keep then that's information they can keep for the rest of the game. If they recognise my car, it doesn't really matter because cars are easily replaced, easily switched, so it's fairly it doesn't doesn't matter too much. But if they spot my character model, the rules are that I'm not allowed to change that during a run, so I have to be careful not to get recognised. And the last two runs we've done, they identified my character model both of them. Oh no, here comes Tristan. I'm going to take this checkpoint, I don't care. I don't care if I'm in a chase. Because um, I was nearly on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so what's I saying? I, um, yeah, if they, if they identify what my character looks like, it makes it much, much harder for me to get away because, uh, in, in the future, because they can just identify me when they see it when they see a car they're vaguely suspicious of um, and they don't even need a particularly specific description for that because there's no real penalty for them for, for picking the wrong car so if, so if they think I'm a, I don't know, a white male since I think I am in this particular run then um, they can just start shooting every white male they see in a um, who's, who's acting at least a little bit suspicious and eventually that'll be enough information for them to find me and um, and, and, and kill me. So, yeah, I'm hoping that Mark didn't 
get a a good feel for what I look like because if he did, as I say, I might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, car park. Oh, I know where I am. I'm at my golf club. I recognise this area from when I did the uh, the vaulting run a little while ago and was um, picking up all checkpoints and all kinds of. Car park, car park, car park. Uh, let's see if I can find. Let's see if I can find a replacement car in here. I don't think anyone saw me come in. There was a car down there, following me. I think. Maybe not. Maybe it was just that maybe it was just that there was a car in here. Let's take this one. I was tempted by that um, that blister blister over there, but it's the hot blister, um, the one that looks a bit like a sort of a Golf GTI, um, or Honda. No, sorry, a bit more like a Honda Civic of that particular generation. Um, they're quite nice, but they count as sports cars, so I can't use it. I wonder if that was a hunter. Probably not, but I attacked him just again. No, it was an NPC. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I've just committed a violence. But there's no, much like for the hunters, there's no actual um, penalty in the game for being randomly violent against a, against NPCs. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the road again. I was fairly still for the last however long that was. There's Tristan going that way, so I'm going to go this way instead. Um. Let's go this way. What was I saying? Um, yes, I was st I was relatively still, so the circle won't have moved the whole time I was in that car park messing around looking for a new car, which is quite nice because it makes it harder. It means if, if we'd been in bounce mode, it would have been guiding them closer and closer to me while the longer I sat there, which is obviously very, very dangerous for me. Um, in, in teleport mode, it's just going to sit still until I start moving again. So they'll know I'm not moving very much and I've perhaps gone to ground a bit. But I basically am fairly safe because they, they don't know where I am in the circle. Now granted, over time the circle does shrink. So that's that's there to, sort of, to encourage me to, to keep moving and not, not just go to ground and hide. Um, but it doesn't shrink very quickly. I've got a good 20-30 minutes of circle shrink available to me before it becomes really really obvious where I am and also I've got um, and I get an extra five five minutes worth of circle every time I take a checkpoint as well so I've got those two things I've got that to help help me out a little bit I believe we've got the maximum size of the circle set to shrink each time I uh, take a checkpoint as well though so there's there are all kinds of numbers here and there that just that we, we we play we play around with the numbers a bit to try and balance bring some balance to the game and make it make it fair make it so that they've got a good chance of sort of finding me um, but not making it too easy so we shall see how this goes I'm going to turn down this road here I think because again it's the it's the get off the main road thing I don't like I don't like being on the main roads in an area because I feel like that makes me a bit too obvious if I come down here and follow along this road there's the checkpoint. That glow on the horizon is the checkpoint. There's no hunters. I'm going to run the red light because I want to. Do, I kind of want to get to it. So, ooh, I could drive along the beachfront. That might be a good way of doing it. Hmm. Is that a good idea? I think it might be because it gets me off the roads, and that's the main place they'll be looking. Just hopefully the um. The circle won't show that I'm on the beach. Oh, I scratched the side of the car. They probably won't notice that. So if I head along here and just hope that the circle stays more over to the um, east, so they don't know I'm on the beach, then I can come up here. There goes Tristan. Okay, so the circle is now, presumably, given the way he's driving around, the circle includes the checkpoint. That's Pete identifying me. I've, he's, he's, going to have re he's going to have identified me now and he'll be describing me to all the other hunters. This is not good. Maybe my best bet at this point is to just not take the checkpoint when I go through it. Let's try that. I'm doing the play dead thing. 
Let's see if that works. I think not. Ah, don't shoot! No, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have played dead. I thought it was. A, I thought it was worth a try, but it clearly, clearly wasn't. Which is mildly unhelpful if they're in a row. Got him. Uh, he just changed out of his car. Uh, red coupe heading down Vimal Boulevard. As in uh, got a satellite out. Uh, heading west now, yeah. Just taking thing. a left. Uh, continuing down south towards shopping centre. Oh, the way east from me. Uh, bus pulled in front of me. I may have lost him. Uh, I got him. Uh, black uh, coupe driving west uh, from uh, Chinese Monument. Not far from you. Uh, he turned south on the main road here. Um, I lost him. This is clearly a player, I don't Yeah, he's just gone, he's taking checkpoint, heading north. Uh, straight north, taking the court, the, the junction to keep going north. Uh, going round to the uh, main road, turning right, away from the highway. Haven't seen character model though, in an F620 I think. Uh, looping round, approaching movie studios? No. Uh, approaching multicolored car park, I think. Oh, you are going towards movie studios. Uh, no, you're not. No, we're north. Uh, something. I've lost him. I don't. Yeah, you. can also drive through the checkpoint and not take him. Yeah. Got a, oh, got a car here with a window out. Uh, could well be him. White male, blue shirt, uh, grey cardigan. Driving a green something. I wasn't yeah, that's him. which one was you. <laughs> I think that's him. See, so yeah, I had a window out as if it's been nicked. Given up though. Yeah, no, oh, okay. he's playing AI for longer than I expected. Clearly, the wrong time to play dead. Thought I believed you. Well, I'd driven off. <laughs> uh, I thought it was worth. Everyone it. believed you except me. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Survival, and that means I'm going to try and. Stay away from the hunters for as long as I possibly. Oh, I need to change my need to change my uh, character model. Ah, I need to do that. Yeah, right. Hey, let's Boom. steal. Let's steal this truck. Right. So, manhunt survival is all about me trying to just stay away from the hunters for as long as possible. And there is a circle on the map that will gradually shrink over time. And that's uh, and that circle tells the hunters where I am. Uh, it only appears on their computers, uh, on their maps. Sorry, it doesn't it doesn't appear on mine. So 
they can use but they use it to try and to try and find me because I'm always somewhere inside it. And we're in the um, the mode that we're actually calling static rather than teleport, which is what I was calling it in the last episode. Um, but that means the the circle doesn't move except when I get to the edge of it. And when I touch the edge of the circle, the circle will jump to a random position on the, uh, so I'm somewhere somewhere randomly placed inside that circle. Um, and this means that as I drive around, the circle will hop around the map, keeping me somewhere inside it. And the hunters can use it to try and to try and track me down and um, and, and, and try and get me. If the circle gets down to, I think it's about 100 metres, something quite small anyway, at that point, I win the game. Well, I have to then escape from the hunters, but basically I win the game at that point. The hunters win if they manage to, if they manage to work out who I am and they manage to kill me. So I'm going to try and try and avoid them because, well, I don't want to be killed. The, there are the reason I'm, now, the main reason I'm in a truck at the moment is because there are a few little special things that, that affect how the the, uh, the rate of the, the rate of the circle shrinkage so if I'm in a sports or supercar the circle basically doesn't shrink uh, the point being that I'm allowed to use those sort of cars if I want if I think I need to get away from the hunters but it's supposed to they're supposed to not be particularly useful for me uh, that I'm, I'm supposed to be discouraged from driving them basically <clears throat> if I'm driving an industrial vehicle a truck a van a bulldozer that sort of thing um, then the then the circle shrinks more quickly because I'm in a worse vehicle, so I'm giving myself a bit of a uh, a bit of a penalty, a bit of a handicap, but it means I'm um, but it allows but it, so in in return I get the circle shrink a bit quicker to to try and uh, to, to offset it. Well, hunters are nearby and they're shooting. That's scary. Let's keep moving. Um, and then basically every other vehicle is sort of somewhere in between because it's it's considered to be a a normal vehicle, so it's all the all the cars, all the sedans, the coupes, the um, uh, the muscle cars, the SUVs, all of that sort of thing. They're all counted in the same sort of category. So part of the game for me, I suppose, then is is trying to just waste time, waste time a little bit. I don't, and I don't want to, I don't want to sit and hide in a. Actually, let's let's switch vehicles. I think I've used this truck for long enough. I don't want to, I don't want to be caught in it. Let's switch to this muscle truck. Hey! Ah! And head off this way. Shut the door. There we go. So this is a, this this counts as a normal vehicle. It's everything. It's um, the circle will, will shrink at a, at the standard speed when I'm using this car. So that's that's fine. That's, that looks like the sort of car I would have if I was actually playing a hunter. It's a blue oracle of my colour. That's crazy. Um, I may consider using an oracle sometime fairly soon, actually, because there are um, a lot of them spawning in today. They're just everywhere in the um, in the game at the moment. I don't see any hunters behind me, so I'm going to pull a U-turn here, like this. Ooh. And I'm going to come around here, and I'm going to try and get onto the highway and go across to the other side of the city, and then play around over there a bit, because I think it's I think it's a good idea for me to try and sort of distract the hunters a bit and make them make them work for their um, make them make them work for it a bit so if they if they see me moving quickly yes it'll be really obvious that I'm moving quickly and therefore almost certainly on the highway but it'll make them have to stop move over there regroup rethink things a bit so I think this is very worth doing we'll see how it goes this may be a sort of a, a famous last words maybe completely suicidal but I think if I drive all the way through here, I won't go all the way to the beach. I think that's a bit too far, um, because I, well, it's um, there aren't as many roads around over, roads over there, so it's going to be it's going to be a bit too easy to find me. But if I make it say to here, come off this exit before I go through the tunnel, and turn right, head up towards sort of the golf club sort of area, and I think this. This um, muscle truck isn't isn't quite the right sort of vehicle for this sort of area. I probably should change, but I think it's better than the, either of the vehicles around me at the moment. So, actually, I want to get a bit further away from here. Let's go through the movie studios. Bonk. So if I get through here and out the other side, then I'm going to be at least away from the um, from the highway that I just hooned up. So, yes, this is this is probably a fairly subtle place to be. Yeah, I'm um, reasonably happy with this. I've got a red light. I can waste this red light quite happily. None of them have seen me yet. 
so one of the big problems I've been having recently, and I say problems, it's one of the sort of the, the things the hunt, things it's been causing me problems, but it's a sort of a, a justifiable way to play the game, I suppose. It's just the, the way the hunter, the way the hunters have been tracking me down recently, is by spotting and identifying my character model. There's an oracle. I'm having that. Um, yeah, the hunters have been identifying, spot, recognizing, spotting and recognizing my character model. He's going to try and steal it back from me. I don't want that. Oh, that. Oh no. No, I think that hideous. Purple, purple car that just went past wasn't actually a hunter. Normally, if I see a really bright, garish car, I expect it to be a hunter because they usually are. There's one of the hunters in that green thing behind me, though. And I didn't take that corner particularly smoothly. He is probably suspicious. If he, especially as I didn't react very quickly to that light going. Oh, it was shooting that was causing them to run, not light going green. Oops. Right, okay. I'm going to consider this... I think we're now in a chase because that hunter has got very suspicious of me. He's been lurking around a bit. And I'm hoping that maybe I started running quickly enough. Certainly that we didn't have all of the hunters um, around on top of me. Oh no, that's bad. Hit a habanero. Um, right, so what was I saying? Yes, the, um, the hunter... Hopefully, I've run, started running soon enough that the hunters aren't all in all around. Because normally, if I don't if I don't start running, you get one hunter gets suspicious. He gets very suspicious. He calls all the rest of them over and says, "Yes, this is him. He's here. Come come and join me, and we'll we'll get him together." And then I'm in real trouble because they they gang up on me. Um, but if I and if I but if I run, the, the hunter is then absolutely certain that they've spotted me. Sure, but on the flip side. I, I have the opportunity to, to actually try and get away a little bit, so I think, I think it's worth running there. I'm also hoping, and I'm not sure about this, but I'm hoping that I ran quickly enough that the hunters, uh, that he won't have identified my character model, he won't recognise me. It's it's a long shot, but I'm hoping. So what I'm going to do is head around this way, head down down south a bit. So again, this is like I was doing earlier with the, the fleeing across the uh, the city on the highway thing earlier. If I get to a different part of the city, then hopefully they'll 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 at least need to they'll they then also need to do the big run across the city and regroup and stuff, and then start looking for me again. And hopefully that'll buy me a bit of time. Now the question is how 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 big is the circle at the moment? Is the circle still big enough that it's worth me? Oop. Oh, I want that car, even if it's even if it's a bit damaged. Come on, get in it before the hunters turn up. I don't see any hunters. I still don't see any hunters. I think I got away with that. Right, okay. Where am I? I am... Ooh, this isn't quite where I wanted to be. I could drop off here. I want to get into the ghetto, really. That's my ideal ideal at the moment, would be to get into the, into the ghetto and just hide in there, because there's lots of... No, I'm up by the airport instead, which isn't quite, isn't, as I say, isn't quite where I wanted to be. But if I go cross country here, then this will get me back onto the um, this part of the highway. Did Pete see me then? I don't know. Oop. That's Max in the uh, in the blue blister. Is he following me? He is. Yeah, there's several of them following me. Okay, I think I'm going to call that spotted, and I'm going to start fleeing again. Wow, that blister's going quickly. I'm impressed that Blister was able to keep up with an F620 like that, but I'm also quite proud of myself for how well I held that slide. Um, <laughs> makes a nice change. So, yes, this I use these. I used to use these cars quite a lot back in the days when we were playing um, Manhunt Checkpoint in the GTA Online because they were one of the ones you could select. They're they're quite good. They're pretty good cars. They're um, and they look quite nice as well. <laughs> and I'm a bit of a sucker for a car which is really nice. So, ooh, that was a bit of a slidey. Let's go down here. Is he still behind me? Yes, he is. He's going quite wide on the corners, so he's probably... Yeah, he's obviously pushing his blister quite hard. It's... Blisters are nice cars, actually. I, I quite like them. They're a compact, so they're... They're not particularly quick, but they... Or they're not particularly fast, but they are very manoeuvrable. So, my best bet here is probably to try and get away with some speed, but I didn't manage to squeeze through that gap between those cars. Um... I don't really want to cut back this way because it's going to bring me back towards where the other hunters are going to be coming from. But, like that. <laughs> However, it might, I might be able to... Oh! Bloody hell. I was going to say, I might be able to make this work as long as I don't drive into... Two, as long as I don't have any accidents and then I immediately have an accident because of course I did. 
Well, I'm going to keep running um, <laughs> because I don't have much other much else in the way of choices. Um, oh, oh dear! No, go backwards, turn around, then actually go. Oh, now there's two hunters there. This is bad. There's at least two hunters, and I'm hardly moving. Hardly the hardly moving is the worst. Don't hit the rocks. Okay, there we go. The, the, the hardly moving is the worst part of that because if I'm if, if, if you stop as a um, as the prey, then if you're not careful, you can get pinned very, very easily by the hunters. If you get pinned, you can't move, you're, you're, you're then doomed, because they'll just hold you there, telling all the other hunters where they are. The other hunters will come over and start attacking you, beat you up, you're, you're in a lot of trouble. As long as you can keep moving, you're reasonably safe. All the, all the hunters can do then is barge you around, push you... Oh! God, try properly, Lawrence. <laughs> Oh, dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I was driving very badly at the end. Uh, he can oh. Hello. Uh, but the circle will... So, he has to survive until the circle shrinks to a specific size. Uh, 10 metres, maybe? It's bigger, way bigger than that, because that would be uh, impossible. 100 metres, no. It, it might be 100 no. metres, or something like that. But if he's in a sports or a supercar, it shrinks uh, massively slower. So someone shot that? Yeah, I shot sure. I might have him, um, grey oracle um, driving um, east from movie studios roughly to... Uh, yes. Um, north of... Uh, yeah, that's some shopping center driving uh, east side of shopping center. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, driving to Arcadius. Right, so is he in all sides of the center now? Uh, no, he's driving across a bridge, Acadius. Yeah, uh, heading down. Heading down south. I see you. You're way in the distance, sir. Um, uh, he's That's high low, I don't know where he went. Lost side, higher lower. Grey coupe, you said. Uh, yeah, grey oracle, dark grey oracle. Of course it's an oracle. Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's take it three times. Did I just catch him coming out of the uh, airport there? Yeah, I might have done. Read left 620? Yeah. yeah. You're not looking at uh, Red Pegasus, uh, Pegasus helicopter spawn. Heading northbound towards Weasel News. Uh, hit a tree. He's in a green F620, dark green, or olive green. Yeah. He's behind Weasel News now. He's turned right at Caesar's car park. Good job, Papa. Yeah. He's heading into the uh, city centre there, towards uh, Square Squares. Southbound towards Banner Hotel, just in front of the construction uh, site. He's at Banner Hotel now, southbound still. After uh, going further south, and then he's the highway now. Continuing south, Benny's. Still east, uh, following the tram tracks. He is towards Mega Mall. He smashed into some cars. He's turned left towards Ring of Fire and uh, Dollar Pills. Northbound, he's turning into uh, Franklin Street. He's 
coming out of Franklin Street at the tra at the tram tracks towards uh, Arena now. He's at Mega Mall, in between Mega Mall and Arena, where the LTD gas station is. He turned right towards Arena. Hi, dude. Oh, good. Sorry, Ma. He's, uh, no he's on the right side of Arena now, towards uh, the recycle plant. Actually, not towards it, like behind it. I'll just keep following you guys, uh, get out of your cars and shoot him. I'm managing to keep up with this guy. He's on the grass at the Arena. Sorry, I messed up. But I will uh, back towards where the arena entrance is. Alright. <laughs> nice one. He has Why doesn't it explode that thing you hit your bonnet? I don't have a bonnet anymore. He is at Mega Mall now, mm. northbound. He's turned right on the tram tracks. His corners are very predictable. Nice. <laughs> He's uh, following the tram tracks. We're on the right side where it, if it, it goes down here. Um, yeah. Across the train tracks. He's crashed it. Pretty bad. Getting out. Getting out. Don't get out. Yep. Got him. Nice Last one. Time. Got him. Your blue color is quite easy to follow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, NPCs. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I kept driving into things. That was not going well. <laughs> I saw that. You, you out accelerated me, though. 